Hey guys, welcome to Troopy Talk. This is a series of videos where we'll be interviewing owners about their cool Troopy setups and mods and doing some gear reviews for our Troopy trips. G'day everyone, uh, welcome back to Troopy Talk. So today we've got a very exciting addition here. We've got Alucab versus Mulgo. And uh, obviously we've got the Mulgo side on here and coming over here, we've got my friend Nick, Mr. Hey, Four Wheel Drive. How are you? Very well, mate. Thank you very much for coming along. That's all right. And bringing your beautiful machine. Um, so Nick, uh, when he first bought his four wheel drive, came down to see us to have a look at our Mulgo. So we decided that once Nick gets his Hercules done, we'll uh, have a little bit of a, a comparison video. So here it is. Perfect. Yeah, Let's absolutely. Do it. What do you think so far of your of your awesome. roof? Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Yep. Yep. Just the ability to stand up inside the car really changes like everything from yep. a from a car to a camper. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, makes it awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So what we'll do is we'll go around the back and have a look at the setup and how you actually get yours up. Cool. All right, Nick, so uh, do you want to show us how you unlatch it and then push it up? Yep, just for the definitely. folks at home. Cool. All right, so we've got a couple of safety latches here just so they don't pop up. Can they be locked as well? Yeah, so definitely can. Um, I see a lot of people with the locks here, but I'm just lazy, so I don't have to unlock it every time. So unlatch one, unlatch the other, and then just push it up. Yeah, beautiful. So as it's going up, you grab this as well. I think you've got the same version. Yep. And drop it down there. Some people it's too high for them if they're a bit short. So yep. you grab it on the way up and that's up. So we've got some awning poles here as well. Yep. Which I'll put up for you as well. Oh yeah. Can you show us how that's done? Yep. Excellent. All right, so with the awning, yep. do you do you put that out every time? Yeah, basically. Yeah, otherwise I guess it would flap in the wind a fair bit. Yeah, so sometimes if it's really windy, I just leave this up over the top. Oh, nice. So the elastic holds it, stops it from flapping around. Because yep. the wind does get up up under here yep. a little bit. So. so we put the bottom in first. Spin around. So you can see the wind already getting under it. Yeah. And then this part I also put through the hole so it doesn't doesn't spin around, oh, move nice. around. Great. And that's up. Fantastic. All right. All right, Nick. So do you want to show us how you open this thing up from uh, the inside? Yep. Sure. So there's two parts to it. So the first part is this flap. So we push that up out of the way. Yep. This is the extra strap. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this opens up, so then you can access right up to the top. Yep. And obviously you've got, now you can climb up here. Oh yeah. You've got the second flap here. Hang on. Oh, let me turn the camera around. On the bed, I guess. Yep. So once we push the bed up, and nice. we can stand up in there. So yeah, obviously thanks. with the pillows in there, it doesn't go as high. Yours would probably be the same. Yep. You can take the pillows out and it'll go a bit higher. Yep, fantastic. Excellent. And there's heaps of room in here. Yeah. I like the way that yours is open in here, so I haven't filled it in too much. Just yeah, nice. See the working progress. So. Excellent. And uh, these side uh, flaps, they zip open. Yep. Bit hard with the bed in the way. Beautiful. Excellent. And do the fly screen zip open yeah, on the side? So these do open, so I think. Oh, nice. Spoke about yours not opening. Yep. So you can let. So you can let the bugs out. Yeah. So they all, all three open up. Yep. So that's one of the differences between the Malgo and this is the Malgo's uh, side fly screens don't open up, and neither does the back one. Yeah. Cool. And so that you roll it up like roll this. Roll these up out of the way. Beautiful. Tucks out of the way. Sometimes yeah. it does get caught when you pull the bed down. Yep. The higher this is up, if you roll it up in the middle, it goes straight past all the time. Yeah, very neat. So. Excellent. And it makes it really dark in here too, which I think is a bit of a difference as well. Yep. So it seems to be a bit darker than um, than the Mulgo. Yeah, the yep. darker canvas I think helps. Yep. Alrighty. Excellent. So we'll zip that up and then we'll pull the bed down and we'll see how much room's up on the bed. All right, Nick, so tell us, uh, why did you choose the Hercules over the Mulgo? So a couple of reasons, but the main reason was the bed length. Yep. So I'm six foot two, which mm -hmm. is I think 183, two centimeters, somewhere around there. Yep. Maybe 186. Yep. Not 100% sure, but uh, once you're in, it's a, 
this is probably the same length as yours. I think yours is about two meters, is it? It's two meters exactly, yeah. So when when I'm in, my feet are at the at the end, and yep. I'm sort of right on the edge. So yep. you could make it work, but if you want to be on your back, you can't really make that work. Yep. So this has the extra part that pulls down. Great. And once that's down, makes the bed 2.4 long. Great. So heaps heaps around. It's not as wide, but. Yeah. Only catch. Okay. Okay. So uh, show us how to get the extra length in your bed. <laughs> I'll, leave I'll leave that alone. So that bit goes down. Yep. And then and this is padded as well. Oh, nice. That section. It's got a yep. bit of extra room up there. So we sometimes you know put a water bottle and whatever else we have up here at the time. Yep. And then we put our pillows on this side. Oh, nice. And then that gives us that extra full length. So now nowhere near the the feet at the the other end and still got lots of headroom yeah perfect all right so, so that's how you, that's yeah. how a six foot how two it? six foot two bloke fits in one of these yeah so then when your your feet are here you got more room because once you're down here that's when yep. it starts hitting yep absolutely all righty all right so uh nick there's an extra little benefit of yeah, the hercules just a bit of extra room like when the weather's bad outside Yep. A few times I've used this as an extra seat up here. Oh yeah. While we got everything in the car and two dogs, so it's a full house in here at times. So um, this becomes an extra seat while this bed's up out of the way. So it's nice to have somewhere else to sit up here as well. Yeah, perfect. Again, another thing the Malgo doesn't, doesn't have as an option. Yeah, and obviously that just pushes up out of the way when it needs to be. Yeah, perfect. All right. Sure. So the next thing we might do is show us uh, how you pull all this down and yep. tuck it away. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Nick, do you want to show us uh, how you pack all this up? Yep, so add an extra strap in here. You want to have a look? Yep. So it's just onto the, the handle you normally have to pull it down. Oh, yeah, yep. What normally happens is once we've loaded everything up, we've loaded the dogs in the car, we can never get to the hatch. It was a problem. So we put the strap on that goes through both. We'll just give it a good, good pull, and they both come down together. Yeah, nice. Very clever. That's it. All right. So the final closing of the lid. Yep. How do we do that? So we can leave the pillows there, but you've got to kind of sit on the roof, and it um, takes a bit of a bit of time to for the air to escape. Yep. So we have the same so, problem. We don't take we don't leave the pillows there either. Yep. We take them down. So I'll grab them out. Pull my handy little strap down. Yep. And then take the awning down. In. Now, this one's pretty hard to pull down, so yeah. All right. So it is pretty hard to actually that, get it. That did look like a little bit of an effort. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So can I have a go? Actually. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just so I can compare the two. Yep, I think that's definitely harder than the Mulgo. I agree. Yeah. So sometimes I, I'll end up half on the ground as I use my body weight to pull it down. Yep. Um, but yeah, it is it is hard to pull down. It's easier with more weight on the roof. Yeah. Obviously. But this one, just obviously tuck this, tuck everything in nicely. And that looks like it closes pretty easily. Yeah, so it's still got the doona in at the moment. Okay. So it's would, you still a bit of... that, would you normally leave the doona in? Definitely leave the yep. doona. I also leave the pillows in. Yep. And then I, if I sit up here for about five minutes, <laughs> all the air goes out and it right. will close. Yeah. But now, yeah, you put a little bit of pressure on it, you can get it, you can get it to shut. Beautiful. And the safety latches and it's done. Excellent. Thanks very much for showing right, us around. Uh, another little added benefit here is this uh, parcel shelf, which uh, is mounted underneath the bed. Again, something the Mulgo doesn't have. 
Yeah, we actually put heaps of stuff up here, so there's a laptop up there at the moment. Oh, nice. Um, Sam puts her books up here, but she's got to be careful because they always fall out on her head because <laughs> she stacks them too high. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah, lots of storage up there. Really handy addition, that one. Okay, so with the Malgo, it's a little bit different. Normally they are an internal opening system, so there's two latches, one on each side that you have to undo, and you can actually push it up from the inside, but we found that those uh, latches were actually in the way from where we sit here, and also from where we use the sink over there. So we've taken those internal latches off, and we replaced it with a simple tie-down strap that still hooks into the original hook on the roof. So for us, we basically un unlatch it from inside, and then the other thing that we've changed is that, uh, so we don't actually push it up from inside, we push it up from outside. I've added these handles just to make it a little bit easier. And then up it goes. And then just straighten that up. Uh, and that's there, also another addition, so we can actually bring it down from the outside. Again, that's not standard with the Malgo. Okay, so as far as the Malgo goes, um, I'm going to push the bed up now and show you how that uh, goes up and show you how much room there is inside and the fact that it's a little bit brighter inside than the Hercules. So let's go inside, guys. So all we've got to do here is just gently push that up. So that goes up pretty easily, as you can see. Um, you can stand all the way back to here. Um, I'm only 170 centimetres tall and my head still doesn't hit the roof here. We do have a fridge in the way. And as you can see, we've got a lighter coloured fabric here. So uh, in general, you don't have to have the lights on. It's a lot brighter and lighter in here compared to the Hercules. Um, our window flaps are Velcro and they roll up like that, but you can't actually unzip them, uh, neither the side ones nor the back ones. So when bugs do come in here, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. We can't actually let them out, uh, but that's okay. All right, so next thing I want to show is how the bed comes down so and how we get into bed. So the bed comes down pretty easily like that. And then all we do is put one foot up here and then climb up. Just like that. So uh, we're up on the bed here and uh, as you can see, I'm only 170 centimetres tall and I'm going to lie down on the bed. And as you can see, my toes don't touch the roof. Okay, which is good for me. Uh, the bed here is also 16 centimetres, uh, 14 centimetres wider than the LU cab. Yeah. So uh, if, the, if the camera pans over here, you'll see my friend Nick lying in the bed next to me. <laughs> and we're, we're fairly cosy up here, aren't we? Yeah, you can definitely notice the extra room. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A lot, it's a lot wider in this one. So, so as Nick, the uh, six foot two model lies down, you'll see the problem with the Malgo as far as tall blokes are concerned. Feet yeah. hit the end. Feet hit the end. The other thing is that this mattress as it is, is relatively not that spongy. So we've actually added a mattress topper as well of about 25 mil. Yeah. So you probably lose another 25 yeah. mil as well. So uh, for tall blokes and tall ladies, uh, the Mulgo is probably not the way to go. Yeah. But if you're a bit shorter and you want a bit of extra width, it's probably more suitable. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I close the roof. Um, you can close it from the inside, but we prefer to close it from the outside. It just kind of seems to be easier for us. So the bed's already down, the pillows are off. Uh, and then all I do is basically just grab this and pull that down. It's actually pretty easy. Just tuck it in from both sides using the strap. And then it's down. So pretty easy. Then just get the latch, latch it down, pull it tight, do that on both sides, and we're done. All right, so I just wanted to show you from the inside how we actually push the um, bed and the roof up. So if you come over here, there's the original hook that comes supplied, and normally there would be a bracket that sits about here, but that's in a way of our um, chair, as I mentioned to you earlier. So we just unhook that, and then basically we there's a strap here that we can use to pull it down but then basically from here we just push that up like that that goes up fairly easily and then the bed also goes up and then you're done that's okay. okay so to bring the bed down and the roof down just grab it here
like. All right, so once the bed's down, it's just a matter of grabbing the handle either in the middle or these side straps and then pulling it down. So we'll pull it down to about there. And then from there, it stops and then we can step out and adjust the tent. Make sure nothing gets caught and then comes down the rest of the way. And that's why we like the hand and that's why we like the handles on the outside so we can control it from the outside as well. So once the uh, bed and the roof is down, you're left with a bit of canvas here. And the best way to deal with this is making sure that the window is actually closed like that. And then you can roll this up, which we haven't really been doing because we're a bit lazy. But you can actually roll this up quite nicely. And then you can use this flap here and tuck that away. And that way everything's nice and neat. Yep. All right, so once you've neatly rolled everything up here, there is the original hook and the original latch would be sitting here, but we don't have that. So we just grab our little tie down strap, hook that on there and push it down. Same on both sides and we're set to go. A quick comparison between the two products shows that the Mulgo weighs 36 kilos less, adds less overall height and has a wider bed by 14 centimetres. Important if you're sharing the space, but it may not be suitable for tall people unless they're by themselves. The Alu Cab has a significantly longer bed and is more suitable for taller people. It also has fully opening windows and an awning which the Malgo does not. However, the Malgo is easier to open and close. The Alu Cab has an external piano hinge which is clearly visible on the front and it may be the cause of extra wind noise that people have noticed, while the internal hinge and continual seal of the Malgo results in a quieter ride and looks more streamlined. Both pop tops can accommodate solar panels, roof rails and tie down points. All in all, these two products are brilliant because they have completely changed the ease and comfort of touring and camping by creating excellent standing room, great living space and an incredibly quick and easy sleeping arrangement. So thanks very much for showing us through your Alu Cab. It's a pretty yep. awesome setup. Thanks, um, what I'd like to know is what you really love about it and some of the things that you don't like about the setup. Um, all right, well, really love the whole setup. Glad that we did the conversion. Yep. Um, makes setting up camp so much quicker. Yeah, it's definitely. Just, you know, five less than five minutes, you, you tense up, you can be in bed. Um, in bad weather. Yeah. I know, obviously, we have to set up from outside. Yeah. But it's it's a two second push it up. Yeah, it's still pretty once, quick. Yeah, it's up pretty quickly. So yeah. a lot of people say that's a bit of a downfall with that, saying you have to do it from outside. You can't do it from inside. We don't find it find it a problem with that. So. Yeah. You get a little bit wet at times, but that's part of it, so. That's camping. Yes, so that's, um, yeah, definitely love the, the conversion on the on the top. Um, as far as the length goes, I guess you are you were kind of limited yeah. to that one. What I dislike is the, the width, it's not very wide. Yeah. So it's with two people up there, um, sometimes a dog up there as well. It's not that wide for two people, so noticed in this one's a lot wider, Yeah. but the length is, it sort of gives you a bit of grace because you can space out a bit with the length. Yep. So I think that's probably the only one of the only dislikes. The other thing is it's pretty bulky from the front. So looking at it from the front, I think it, it sort of takes away from the look of a troopy because yep. it's pretty bulky. Yep. Um, but other than that, I, I like it from the side. I like it from the back and I can't really fault much else with it. Yeah, great. Good product. Yeah, fantastic. Yep. Uh, you've added a mattress topper to your mattress as well, though, haven't yes, you? Yes, good yep. point. Yeah, so the mattress, first night we slept on it, it was like a rock. Uh, we're on the start of a trip, yep. like a two-week trip, and we drove straight from there to um, Coles, or yep. well, not Coles, uh, uh, Big W, yep. and got a, a little, just a thin mattress topper. We thought it'd be too thin, but it's actually just the perfect amount of yep added comfort. So. so we only lasted one night on ours too, and yep. we went straight to Clark Rubber and got a mattress yep. topper as well. Yeah, they're, so. pretty, they're pretty stiff. <laughs> they are pretty yeah. rough. Um, all right, so as far as the Mulgo goes, obviously I love the look of it. Yep. Um, I love the fact that it's nice and light in here. Um, you don't have to turn the lights on. Uh, we're not too tall, so the length doesn't bother us, and we do love the extra width. Uh, as far as things that I don't love about it, um, the fact that uh, originally you can't open and close it from the outside, so we actually like that option, but we've kind of sorted that out for ourselves. Yep. Um, and obviously the mattress wasn't super comfortable, but um, you know, I think that uh, for us, the way um, you know our height this, this uh, setup suits us perfectly, so yep. um, yeah, it's great. If you had a choice between the two, once you've seen the comparison, would you, you know, you're going to spend your money? Yep. If they cost the same, where would you go? 
Um, I'll probably still stick with the Malgo, yep. yeah, for us. Yep. And yourself? I'd still stick with my version. So I think the length uh, yep. wins it for me. They both do awesome job. They both do the same very similar thing. Yep. It's just a couple little changes that I think that one wins for me. Yep, And fair this enough. one wins for you. As far as cost goes, I think they're around about the same amount. Yep, that's 13,500 installed. Yep, so this is 14,000 installed. Yep. Okay, so cost is, is pretty much the same. Yep. Uh, this, there's uh, three places in Australia that does the Mulgo conversions now. So there's uh, CMS Auto, CMS 4x4 in Victoria. There's Odyssey, Outfit, um, Odyssey Outfitters in Perth and there's obviously Expedition Centre in Sydney, but the Hercules, I think you can do those in a bit more places. Yeah, I haven't researched too much around, so that was not um, part of the reason why we got that one as well, was at the time, that's why I came to have a look at yours, there wasn't really anyone in Victoria that was fitting them yep. um, at the time, so I went to, um, yeah, kind enough to show me yours so that was nice and then i could see the one at um, iron man dandenong yeah but it seems to be there is a lot of places that do do this conversion around yeah so, so i think iron most man states dealers. now do them yeah. yeah so you've got a bit more option as far as australia wide getting the hercules fitted yeah yeah great awesome man thank you cool. so much for your time and uh showing us around and i think that people will really appreciate the side-by-side -side comparison because you know when you were buying yours there was nothing sort of no, yeah, no regret no information so awesome cool thank you thank you guys